there is a few technical problems. Okay, what's the moment in virtual worlds? The moment is the fundamental constant in virtual worlds. Every avatar, every person that takes place in, in a virtual world moves. Fly, walk, run, etc. And territory exploration patterns shed light uh, on the behavior of an insert in front of the three dimensional environment. What is? We try to get inside from the movement. We will try to, to reach how movement can take us a uh, real insight about the user behavior and how uh, this user can get engaged by the virtual world. It's an illogical. This is so. Uh, knowledge about the user movement in virtual worlds can reveal the interest of certain places, areas, etc. The system usability. If an user uh, don't use any item, this item is not visible to them. Uh, we can uh, get the movement patterns in order to get inside about how the users uh, move in the virtual world and how this the research that we we put to them are used. And we can take insight about user spatial decisions on um, how users uh, decide how was the mo the movement. We can cluster the user bases on their profiles. We can get inside useful to plan hardware and software features for servers. Uh, for this purpose, for get real insight, we need to call it data. And we need have a collection policy on how to collect, how to keep the data, and how to treat the data. <coughs> uh, we develop a proof of concept uh, for this paper. Uh, developed with the platform Open Simulator, called usually uh, OpenSim. Uh, we have developed uh, tools uh, for extract the raw data uh, from the OpenSim log files and databases. We shape this information into JSON and R files. Uh, we get insight about uh, discovered patterns with uh, algorithm, algorithms related to data mining, with Weka software or whatever. And we get uh, some insight uh, applying custom algorithms. And in the, in the last uh, phase of the, of the uh, proof of concept, <coughs> we have uh, some visualization tools. OK, the application. Uh, this proof of concept, of concept was applied to a virtual world called user sim developed by this university, the University of Salamanca, and developed by uh, BASIC on OpenSIM. This is the link if you want to, to read. Uh, this world is this virtual world was designed for learn and practice professional skills. Uh, when we took the the proof of concept. Uh, it has uh, 176 users, uh, seven regions, and 37,585 teleports. Uh, more or less, the um, the distribution of this data it's a uh, it's a mean of around 50 times logging the system each user. Each user also have uh, 214 teleports, and the data <coughs> not homogeneously distributed. So we can pick out the uh, user basis on their number of teleports and spatial decisions. 
this, uh, for this reason, we have um, knowledge about how users are engaged in the virtual world and how users take decisions in their moments. If I get upset with the virtual world, I, I don't use it. For this reason, we can explain that we are in use, uh, engaged when you use the virtual world. For this reason, uh, we could make a group of profiles uh, based on the engagement. When a user uh, takes a lot of um, logins and teleports, uh, we can uh, know they are very engaged, pretty engaged, medium engaged, slightly engaged, and very little engaged. If we uh, apply data mining algorithms, also we can uh, get inside uh, what's the spatial decision and from when and where to go the users. Uh, for example, an user that the factor of a low region and have destination on an animal recovery center is around 14 uh, percentage of take this moment. Uh, we can resolve that there is a, a relationship between uh, Iceland or regions more or less uh, be, in order to to their relevancy in the system. And for conclusion of uh, this brief presentation, uh, every variable uh, we need to analyze has a lot of details and possible meaning. For this reason, we need to apply several algorithms and approaches to, to get with the real insight of them. Uh, thanks to this distribution, uh, we are able to, to know what regions are really relevant and possibly why. If one region is not relevant uh, taking place the, the data, we can resolve that this region have uh, some time of, of travel. It could be uh, battle signing, it could be not disabled, or whatever. Thanks to the analysis, we can group the users based on the, the engagement. For this reason, we can um, take uh, a special policies to design the, the virtual places and get a real engagement from the users. And we can get this knowledge in order to personalize three-dimensional environments for each user in the future. That's all. Thank you so much.